Hello and welcome, I'm Maria Victoria and I'd like to show you how to make a Hollywood cake with a black movie star who's just won an Oscar for Best Actress. This cake is divided into three parts. We have the movie film tin with the cake inside it. Then we have the setting and the actress doll. All this rests on two styrofoam bases of different diameters with lights to make the cake more impressive. Now we are going to start with the step by step. First of all, we cut all the pastillage pieces. Let's begin with the patterns. You have to print them in actual size. We'll need some cardboard, carbon paper and the design. We superimpose them and transfer the design with a pencil. For pieces with straight sides, we have to use a ruler. We cut along the borders with very sharp scissors. Once the patterns are ready, we start cutting out the pieces. We roll out syrup pastillage over cornstarch, one eighth of an inch thick. We place the cardboard pattern on top and we trim the border with the scalpel. On this occasion, I have the pieces already cut and dry. To make the disc on the film tin, since it's a very big piece, we'll use syrup pastillage, two fifths of an inch thick. Our pattern is a 15 inch round cardboard. We want the circles to be perfect, so we'll cut them with a round cutter. Once the piece is dry, both on the outside and the inside, and that takes about 24 hours for each side, we'll sand it to get rid of imperfections. Now we'll start painting the pastillage pieces. We take a small amount of white and pink food coloring, as well as a touch of black. We moisten the brush and proceed to paint. Adding water is no problem, it's a sugar piece and the pastillage will absorb it. But it's very important to make even movements. I'm going to paint one half so you can see how my brush moves back and forth. Once we finish painting all the magenta pieces, we do the same with the silver ones. We dilute the silver food coloring with alcohol. We paint also the sides and the back of all the pieces, so that our job looks neat. Let one side dry perfectly well, then turn the piece over and do the other side, and go on doing the same with all the pieces. Now I'll start putting up what we call the scenography. For that we need the magenta and silver pieces to be perfectly dry on both sides. And we're going to begin with the mirror and the light. <laughs> To go faster, I'll work with the unpainted pieces. This is how we put up the mirror. We take the frame, we're going to place some LED lights. This is adhesive date. And every three little lights, we have the possibility of cutting it. Here we've done it three times. There's a connection here, and if you have a friend who's also an electrician, he might be able to give you a hand. We stick the mirror with icing. We run the cable through the hole and remember to make it when you cut the piece. Finally, we stick the frame to the wall with icing and then join the cable to the transformer and from there to the power line. Once the mirror and lights are mounted, we'll start sticking the scenography pieces, the pastillage pieces that we'll be attaching with ice. The first thing we're going to do is to present the pieces. We have the back wall and the side walls. We're going to apply a little bit of icing. When you have two pieces of dry pastillage, it's quite easy to stick them with a little icing. Don't be afraid, we'll smooth it out. We take a moist brush and we'll get rid of the extra icing. Of course, before going on with the assemblage, you have to make sure the pieces are quite dry. And now I'll pipe the finishing bead border to conceal the joints. You can make these dots when the pieces joints are perfectly dry. Maybe later when it's suitable for you. Then you place the other side of the wall. This piece goes on top. 
Once the walls are dry, the star goes here, the long star. And the big star goes in this sector. The last thing we'll put in place, of course by now we have run the cable through, is the dressing table. We place the little piece and then the front piece. In this way we finish putting up the scenography. Finally, when everything's dry, we're going to stand it on the cake scenography's floor. When the scenography is dry, walls and stars, we fix it to the floor with icing. We pipe a border with tip number two and magenta icing on all the edges and joints. We'll make some decorations, like the gum paste puff with the strass or rhinestone ribbon. I will also make some ornaments for the dressing table. Let's start now with the movie star. This doll is made of cold porcelain, but you could also make it with gum paste. She's wearing an evening dress with flowers and her hair is pulled back. Now we're going to learn step by step how to deal with all the details. We begin by making the torso with a 4 fifths inch diameter roll. Make sure you get enough cornstarch. We're going to press into the mold where the features go. Near the throat, we press quite hard. Here, where we've left a hole, we'll apply vinyl glue. We join and push. It's like a little sandwich look. As we keep pressing, this comes together at the back. We're going to cut the extra paste at the waist and also around the trunk and the head. I'll show you a little bit, but you finish it all around. We place the back of the mold and keep pressing until no more paste goes out. Once all is ready, we introduce a brochette stick and we leave to dry on cornstarch until it's time to apply the makeup. For the leg, we're going to model a 6 inch paste roll into a cone shape. We're going to place our little fingers at a distance of 4 fifths of an inch stretching outwards and inwards, and then we do the same at a distance of six-fifths of an inch. At the thinnest end now, we form the foot, which will hold from the side. We come down and press upwards to shape the heel and the tip of the toe. Then we turn over the widest end to form the buttock, and we straighten it up. With the scissors, we're going to cut the waist and the inside of the leg, the groin. Once the leg is modeled, we're going to introduce a florist wire in it, which will later be the sandal heel. And we let it dry on cornstarch. Now we start making the little arms. We need a paste roll two inches long. We rotate it to form the elbow and the wrist. Where the little hand goes, we'll cut a V-shape for the thumb. Then we cut out the other fingers and we model them using our fingers, slightly moist. We cut the top inner part to shape the armpit and we let dry in the desired position. And now it's time for the makeup. We use a white marker with a fine point to paint the eyeball. We use a green marker to draw the iris and a black one for the pupil, the outline of the eyelashes, the eyebrows. We paint the eyelids with soft lead polychrome or watercolor pencils. We illuminate the zone under the eyebrows with white pencil. We paint the mouth with pink marker and give it a glow at the center also with white pencil. The last bit of the makeup is going to be some blushing, which is bronze petal dust, and we can also rub it on the doll's skin. Now we'll attach the torso to the legs with a transparent 10-minute dry glue. When the torso is finished, as well as the legs, we start to dress the doll, and we begin with the little shoes. The shoes are really sandals, completely made up of green porcelain strips, which are decorated with strass. 
After we've made the shoes, the turn has come for the dress. The dress is partly green, with flowers and straws on the side. You can leave the dress short, or you can add a train to make it more impressive. And now you see, we adjust the dress to the body. For the dress, we cut a rectangle of green paste, which we are going to fold forward at the top. Then we'll take it backwards, join, and cut with the scissors. For the flowers, we'll roll out a magenta paste and cut small forget-me-nots, which we'll press down to introduce one strass. Then we're going to stick them on the dress with vinyl glue, and finally we'll attach the arms to the dress, also with the glue. We'll make the hairdo by placing an amount of paste on the top of the head, then we'll imitate the hair by filling a disc syringe with paste to have a grass effect. We press and we put some on the head volume and take it backwards. At the forehead, we cut a V-shape with a scalpel. We repeat until the hairdo is completed. The last thing we're going to do is to assemble the film tin. We'll cover the cake with rolled fondant and paint it with black food coloring. Then we rest it on one of the discs and use icing to stick the other one on top. For the film, we'll roll out black gum paste and cut 12 inch long sections. Very quickly, we'll cut the big and small squares out of magenta gum paste and stick them with water on the black band. Finally, we'll attach the band round the cake with icing and we'll give it a turn at the front. The last thing is to put the whole cake together. We'll place the whole scenography on the tin. As you can see, I'm not sticking it yet, because I have to transport it. But if you wish, you can finish it on the spot where you're working and stick it with icing so it won't move. The final touch is to place the doll figure in the position you like. Well, till next time and thank you very much for your company.